Allen. Oh, blocked by Bryant. Allen ready to throw it down. And Kobe Bryant turns him away. Odom to Bryant. Fisher on the drive. Fisher floats it up. In and out again. 11 point Laker lead. Barnett likes that straightaway, not even close as Artest grabs the rebound. Ahead to Fisher. Fisher alley up to Bryant. Kobe Bryant, 12 points here in the third quarter, the lead back to 13. Sensing the moment, post a dunk one time, Bryant says, not on my watch. Get it out of here, Mr. Allen. Outstanding job of protecting the rim. And then, in transition, Derek Fisher gets the basketball upstairs. Mama, there goes that man. Bryant putting on a clinic. NBA players care about the community as this season players from around the league, including Carmelo Anthony of the Nuggets, Kobe Bryant of the Lakers, guys like Chris Paul, Paul Pierce, Dirk Nowitzki brought smiles and a lot of fun to thousands of boys and girls. Events that emphasize the importance of education and being physically active. NBA players making a lasting positive impact on their young fans throughout the season. LeBron James as well as the NBA where caring happens. I could take Dwayne Wade in that fourth cross, four in a row that he was playing with that kid. I, I'm going to throw it out down right now. Dwayne Wade could not beat me in that. I got D Wade. Come on now. No way. <laughs> Pearson Bryant, you saw the numbers there. You know, those two guys have battled for the same team their whole careers. You don't see that as much as you used to. Bryant in his 14th year, Pearson his 12th year. They both have had times bumpy rides. Certainly, Pierce. At some point in his career, his team went through some losing seasons. Kobe Bryant with some of the problems he had with Shaquille O'Neal and the trade request. So it hasn't always been easy, but they've stayed with their teams. They've both been finals MVPs. And this year, both of them went through some injuries where there was some question on whether or not they could help lead their team back to the finals. When you think about it, in Kobe Bryant's prime, he won 35 games one year, 45 and 42. And it did not look good that it was going to turn around. They drafted Bynum, and they hijacked Pau Gasol, and that's how quickly it can change. Bill Jackson even wrote that book, uh, talking about how difficult it was for Kobe Bryant to go. To go. Davis opened way off. Under two to play here in the third. A strong third quarter for Bryant, 12 of his 24 in the period. Think about that play by Rondo. We're used to seeing him take it in and lay it up, but because of the fear of the length of the Lakers, he's forced to kick it out to Glenn Davis for a jump shot. Ray Allen with his four fouls back on the floor. Bryant. Do they call a foul on Davis or Ray Allen? It's the fifth foul on Ray Allen. Doc Rivers very upset with Derek Stafford. Ray Allen was hot as well. The Celtics trying to say it was Davis. Davis saying, hey, it's my foul. Let's take a one for the two. Stafford will have none of it. Well, I think the bump came before whether or not there was one. Well, if he did ride him, it was very minimal. I don't think it was Glenn Davis's foul, but it was Glenn Davis's fault. Because he's guarding Lamar Odom at the three-point line. You've got to be sitting in help and entice Kobe Bryant to kick the ball out. If that's a foul, that's a foul on Ray Allen. But that foul could have been prevented by better help position by Glenn Davis. You've got to keep the ball out of the paint right now. Right now, the Celtics are getting beat in transition, on drive, on the board, and in the free throw game. That's not how you're going to win on the road. See Bryant's numbers overall, but a huge third quarter. For Gene Wallace, and they call Gasol for a hook. His second foul. Lakers in the penalty. 
Oh, but you're so right. You take a look at the Celtics in this quarter, shooting 7 of 12. So they've, they've gotten what they wanted offensively. But the key is they're giving up free throws to the Los Angeles Lakers, and Bryant has caught fire. Now Wallace will shoot two. 15-point lead, the largest of the night. Game two of the finals, Sunday night, an earlier start. Our coverage begins 7.30 Eastern, tip off shortly after 8 here at the Staples Center. And the series shifts, number 2-3-2 two, two format in the finals. Boston on Tuesday for game three, tip off shortly after 9 Eastern, and then Thursday for game four. An anti-Celtic champ rings out here at the Staples Center. As we said earlier, these fans, the Celtic fans hate the Lakers, the Laker fans hate the Celtics. Good, healthy, fun rivalry for the fans. Morales uh, with a little body check. Now, again, Fisher's not a guy you want to foul in the penalty. You're giving him two free throws. Not a smart play there. Well, not smart at all. You understand trying to send a message playing with force, but you have to pick and choose your spots. You're in the penalty, so this is a careless play by Rash Rashid Wallace. And Derek Fisher, as good as it gets at selling those type of fouls, goes to the line. I think the league should consider going back to 2-2, 1-1-1 two, two, one, 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 like the other series. With charter flights, I just think it's a better series. Because I think the drama when you're going city to city and you're not spending one week this year like in Boston, I just like it better. I totally agree. I was in a situation playing the Lakers in 2000 in the finals with Indiana. It is awfully tough to beat a team those middle three ball games. You're talking about the two best in the world. That's a tough task to do. It's never happened where the team has won all three in the middle in terms of a home team. Here's fires away. Hold the rebound. Yes, it did. It happened in Detroit. They won all three, and Miami did. And their victory over Dallas. Pass inside the saw. Oh, right. Did you get that in your research? Why do you guys look at me like I have two heads when I come up with something that actually makes sense? And because it's, it's called the law of averages. <laughs> We're not accustomed to it. What'd you say? The clock? The clock? The broken, uh, clock broken clock is right, is right twice, twice a, day. a day. You're yeah. good. That's me. <laughs> so Gasol to the free throw line. 17 points, 10 rebounds, and three block shots. So we talked about meeting force with force. How Gasol sets a solid screen on Glenn Davis. And technical foul is going to end it out. Rasheed Wallace. When we talk about suspensions, that's five technicals on Rasheed Wallace in the playoffs. He's one behind Perkins, and again on the seventh one, he gets suspended for a game. And right now, you're down 15. You just don't want to give away any free points here. Lakers 21 of 26 from the free throw line. Now you can't say enough about Derek Fisher. The first round of the playoffs, Russell Westbrook did an outstanding job of attacking the Lakers and taking advantage of that point guard position. Derek Fisher then faced Aaron Williams did an outstanding job of competing against arguably the best in the business at the point guard position. And then battled Steve Nash on both ends. Offensive foul! Laker defense has been terrific tonight. And the reason this was a charge is great play by Fisher, but he's guarding Tony Allen, who doesn't space the floor. So if that's Ray Allen, that leaves Rondo with a direct line drive to the rim. But because Tony Allen does not a range shooter, it changes your spacing. Second foul on Rondo. Our chest hits a jumper. Lakers sleeve by 20. Largest lead of the night. 
12 for our test. Everybody getting it done here in the third period. Rondo back out to Davis. Wallace puts up a three. That won't go. Rebound tipped. 